Before I start this squad attack video, I simply just wanted to talk about something. There is a glitch going around that's out of hand that people are using in order to get higher scores. The Filthy Goat has talked about the glitch on his channel, but to summarize, it's a glitch in where the boss can't hurt you and the timer doesn't count down, allowing you to get infinite score and you exit it using a certain way, which I will not discuss. But because of this glitch, people who know how to use the glitch have been spreading it around and people are getting like ridiculously high scores simply because they are too lazy to put in the effort that a normal score would normally take. Like Wibbly Yuki, he's one of my friends, and he's almost always top 25. But if you realize, look at this week, you're seeing people using like all these new players that I've never ever seen on the scoreboard ever before. And they're just like Breno, he's almost always top 25, and he's just top 40, 50 this week simply because people have been pushing. Like, we got all these random, like, Yo Cal, he's almost always top 25 too. Like, just so many people have been using this glitch to their advantage. And it still hasn't even been patched yet, which is the worst part. But there's not much you can do to control people from doing what they shouldn't be doing because as long as this glitch is out, people are going to use it. There are a few YouTubers who have used this glitch as well. Not Goat, nor Robert, not Pregri. That's not what I'm talking about. Like, small YouTubers like myself. I haven't done the glitch yet because as you can see, my score is right here. I am going to show you and record my score attack plans like I usually do. I mean, it's just disappointing that people have sunk so low to, uh, to get Wismillow Man. Like, I'd, I'd pardon this if this was Prison Breaker, even though that would even make me angrier because people actually want Prison Breaker. But this is Wismillow Man you're talking about. You're going this far to get that high on the leaderboard for a Wismillow Man? Oh, come on, people. Oh, no, what are you guys doing? But back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hello everyone, it's Meal All Day, and today we will be doing Score Attack versus the Wismill Man. Tough and Brave are both super effective this week, and now it's the first normal week of Score Attack with the play conditions. And this week, the Loud Tribes are Brave, Tough, Slippery, and wicked so they've given us a whole bunch of score boosters and just generally super good yokai to use this week but this is my team that i'm going to use this week first off is blaze and awoken our attack booster and i recently got him to soul summit level five with the leftovers of soul secrets i got when cranking the lucky crank for shogun king m next is slurpent i have i've maxed him quite a while ago and I spent all day today using trying to get better at using him and I've finally done so so I'm going to start I'm pretty sure I can get better at using him as court next is the new and the first mega yokai to be introduced Shogun King M the attack the single target attacker that's better than Robanya 3000 and actually better than Puni's last Bushinyan by a margin like by a huge margin actually he's not maxed but he'll do next is arachnevil i mean i should have gotten him to soldier level five already so he'd outclass burly but i've kind of been a little spare sparse in soul secrets since i've been putting so many of them into sugar king m that i just wasn't able to find the time to next is unpleasant since we can't use Elder Bloom this week, he's the second best score booster I have, and he is ultimate level 5, so he will do this week. So it's time to start. I'm going to actually be trying something new this week with score attack and trying to do a double slurpent run. What a double slurpent run is, you try to get, well, it makes sense, you're trying to make, get two separate slurpent floods or maybe even three if you're good enough and you're trying to have one of the, the two of them in fever one of them not in fever 
the key to a double sniper run is not popping much or if any of your attacker when getting ready. And I'm sorry for being quiet, but I just really want to make sure I don't get this right the first time. Okay, so we've already got all our secrets up. So now, what we need to do is that we need to get the board ready. For the flood. Okay, I actually got unlucky and... That really sucks. Okay. So what happened there is that Slipper only inflated one of himself, which forced me to just, I wasn't able to continue the run as I wanted. Okay, it seems this is we're going to be able to pull off two full slippers like this one. Okay, so... We're sadly not gonna get the damage bonus, but... Okay, so, yeah. I don't know, wait, why'd the music stop? But that's not the important part. That was pretty much what I'm trying to do here, but I was trying to do another run on top of that as well. Like, after that run, I'd, I'm supposed to get into a diff another fever again to continue to follow it up. But hey, that's pretty good, considering the fact that I'm not using the glitch and that this that was my first attempt of the week it's actually pretty cool i did not expect myself to be able to pull that off i'm going to try a few more runs i mean i can make up the money i use for these runs pretty quickly and thanks to all the charms that have been in the login stamps recently i've just i don't have to pay nearly as much to make an attempt 
than usual. I am done being disturbed. And I had to cut it up just two runs there because they were both just trash. But let's start. There is one thing I don't like about Shogun King M. His red color. I mean, it looks cool, I'm not gonna lie, but when you consider the fact that he has to use Arachnevo as a booster, the red column does not help out his case. 